Only a few shots of the uh, Rocock Bantam, which I've only had for about a month or so. Um, it's a great gun to shoot. I've got the MTC Viper Connect on it. And I've just bought a, a Deben 6-9 bipod with the tilt swivel. Oh, this one's actually just got the tilt. I didn't want the swivel one, I didn't want too much movement. So I can just adjust it for the cant. Testing out these two pellets today. Um, Kaisers, which are 14.66 grain, and the Air Arms Diablo, 16 grain. Um, the Air Arms is a is a cheaper pellet, and there there are more deformed skirts on these ones but oddly the uh, the air arms seem to group slightly better I would say there's not much in it the Kaisers are shooting slightly higher because they're slightly lighter palette but with the grouping I would say the air arms is slightly better which is surprising because the the Kaisers are recommended they've tested for this rifle and when you look at the pellets with the Kaisers I, I'm yet to define yet to find a pellet that's got a bent skirt or dented or anything they just all look perfect so the next ones I'm going to try I'm going to get some of the uh, day state sovereigns which are also recommended for the Brokop Bantam I think they're uh, I think they're 16 grain so they're slightly heavier it'll be interesting to see what they're like in it Uh, very pleased with this gun so far. Brilliant shot count. I've got the um, carbon fiber bottle on this one. You can see it's got the, the manometer on the side there. Didn't even bother topping it up because it was still halfway down the green and I've just put 60 shots through it and it's it's hardly moved on the needle there. first bipod I've had on an air rifle. I'm quite impressed with the stability it's given me. I mean I have rested on uh, shooting bags and different rests but this is so nice because it can be detached and extended and put on different surfaces. It's really good. Out of the box the trigger's a little bit heavy for my liking um, and there's hardly any first stage on the trigger so I'm gonna probably give it some adjustment to give it a little bit more first stage pull and try and lighten it a little bit because the trigger's a little bit on the heavy side to pull. As you can see on the muzzle the barrel is threaded so you can add a second stage to silencer. Um, the barrel is shrouded, but it's still fairly noisy compared to something like the FX Wildcat. This is the 10-shot magazine. Seems to be very well made. It's got a red mark indicator on it when it's when it's empty. That's your last shot when it's on the left-hand side. I'll have to get another one now, so get a bit more trigger happy. Got an adjustable butt pad, can go up and down. Adjustable cheek piece, so I've raised that just slightly. It's got a rubberized stock. Well, it's a, um, it's a wood stock with a rubberized coating on it. Three stage power adjustment. So I'll leave that on full power, which is at the sub 12 foot pound. I think if, it, if that would be, I would always leave that on the full power, but if it was an FAC version, that would come in much more useful for shooting in barns and things to keep the power down. <laughs> 